This is Info Live TV for Wednesday, February 6th. I'm Eli Shah Rabin. Two children were hit by shrapnel when a Qassam rocket hit a kindergarten today. Hamas launched the rocket from Gaza into southern Israel. The kindergarten hit is in the Eshkol Regional Council. Work started some time ago to fortify buildings in the area against Qassams, but as of yet, construction hasn't started on the school that was hit. The border has been open, but that's about to change. The Israeli government said today that it will build a fence on the border with Egypt. The decision came in the wake of the suicide bombing in Dimona. Although it's still unclear, some believe bombers entered Israel along the unguarded Egyptian border after crossing into Sinai from Gaza. The first parts of the fence will be built near Nitzana and Elat. The rest of the border will follow. Something a fence won't stop, rockets. And Hamas continued to launch Qassams into southern Israel today after several days of quiet. One rocket hit a house in Sterot. A 14-year-old girl was injured. Hamas launched six rockets in total. The Air Force responded immediately with an operation against Hamas that killed nine of the group's members. Vice President Haim Rahman told reporters Israel will continue to put an economic squeeze on Gaza until the rocket fire stops. Questions are now arising about corruption within the Vinograd Commission. The state called Vinograd member Yaziki El Dror before a committee today after many saw the remarks he made to a reporter as being less than objective. In an interview with Ma Reeve, Dror asked the reporter what would he prefer, a government under Omert or Netanyahu rising to power. Knesset member Zevalun Orlev said the remark raises questions about just how honest the Vinograd Commission was. Elsewhere, Tony Blair had no question that strengthening economic development in the Palestinian Authority is the key to making peace. Blair sat down with Shimon Peres in Jerusalem today. He made the case that despite Palestinian rocket attacks, Israel should not forget the larger picture. A strong economy means a more stable Palestinian people. He said both sides should continue efforts to find common ground on economic issues, which will gradually make final negotiations more fruitful. At the same time, a deal may be close in the Gilad Shalit kidnapping affair. Egyptian intelligence chief Omar Solomon arrives in Israel this week after having met with Hamas in Cairo last week. Solomon says Hamas is prepared to settle the situation in the near future. Hamas kidnapped IDF soldier Gilad Shalit in 2006 and has demanded the release of Hamas terrorists in exchange for Shalit. Israel has hesitated as many of those Hamas once freed were directly involved in killing Israelis. Stay tuned to Info Live TV as we follow former British Prime Minister Tony Blair on his visit to Israel and an exclusive interview with the Colombian Defense Minister. Cooperation highlighted between Israel and the South American state. Thanks for watching Info Live TV, Israel's only internet TV website, broadcasting in four languages from Jerusalem. InfoLive.tv, live on your mobile phone. Do you want to keep ahead of the news and receive updates on what is happening in Israel? Infolive.tv offers you a unique service, regular video news updates, free of charge, on your cell phone. To sign up, enter our website at www.infolive.tv and click on the mobile services banner. Today the whole world talks about Israel, but who broadcasts from Israel to the world in four languages, live from Jerusalem? Infolive TV, the first international Israeli television channel that operates 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Follow current events in Israel and the Middle East. Video features, interviews, news programs and news briefs live as history unfolds. If you want a direct link to Israel, access infolive.tv.